here we are with Anna Vavarka. Um, she will probably need no introduction to many of you, um, but I'm going to give her a little one anyway. Uh, we have a family finder in Radar Opus, which um, gives you access to not only families, but uh, you know, so-called lesser known or small remedies um, based on Anna's clinical experience. And it's a very simple, um, nice interface to use. You just enter the words, the carefully chosen words that express those characteristic things or stranger and peculiar things about the case in front of you. And it can give you um, sort of go really direct to um, some answers that it'd be very hard to find anywhere else. So um, we're going to talk about the new version of the Family Finder that Anna's been working on these past couple of years. Um, and it's a free update if you already have Family Finder, which is amazing. Uh, and we'll talk about all of the new information that's available in that. And um, I also just wanted to give a little, you know, uh, big up to Anne's book, which is really, really great. And uh, hey, someone else. <laughs> FTR has it as well. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> the name correctly. But um, it's a wonderful book. Um, it tells you, it's Anna speaking very much from the heart and um, telling you about her journey in homeopathy and making things um, simple in, you know, what is becoming a complex uh, sort of, you know, expansion or, you know, so much more information in homeopathy now. And Anna's very good at sort of cutting through to what is... Um, important I think so I'll hand over now and um enjoy obviously we can uh we'll have a discussion but I'll hand over to you now Anna and um we have a case as well so we'll talk about the case um that we sent in the newsletter and Anna's brought another case uh with her as well so um maybe we'll talk about the family finder first and sort of showcase some of the new information that's in there okay yeah, thank you for the introduction. Look, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe uh, if you pull up the family finder, then yep. you know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, so it's um, opened up on the PDF map that comes with the family finder. So um, this is actually a new version that we need to uh, make available in uh, from Radar Opus. So. Um, yeah, so let's go back up to the top. So this is like the overview, and you can get to this point from Radar Opus. And let's just clear the family finder there. Okay, so here we are, and we discuss um, some of the families. Can you see my screen, by the way? Is it working? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, I think... Um... People know how to work with the family finder, and if not, you made a few very nice uh, videos, <laughs> video clips, yeah, to uh, you know, to help people to how to use it, you know, to navigate them through the family finder. And it's actually very simple, as you say, it is all on one uh, screen, you see everything. And uh, version two is an update of several different things. Uh, I, I saw the statistics, so where there were 142 families or groups, you know, in homeopathy, we call everything a family, you know? yeah. <laughs> and whether it's a family or a group outside of homeopathy is not so important. It's just that, you know, uh, we call, we can say like drugs as a family, which of course it isn't. There's no yeah. taxonomic drugs out there outside of homeopathy. But for us, it's easier. We have common denominators. We know we have pointers to this particular group. And, and you can call it a group or family. So there are now, instead of uh, 142, there are 173 families you can look up. And there's wow. a lot of remedies added. And I don't know by heart, but almost 200 remedies added. And most of them are rare um, or, or little known. All the information we have is is incomplete. Right? Sometimes mm -hmm. you have we have information, but it won't help you, <laughs> or it will yeah. lead you nowhere. Or you, you you know you have too much information and you don't know what's important. Yeah, that's also a possibility. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of updates in all kind of groups. Mm -hmm. um, 
of remedies. And then in the expressions, there's almost about 1,600, 1,500 more expressions. So that's a hit, all the mm. expressions. But I think most important maybe is the families that are added because there were some blanks in the in the first version. Yeah. Like there was a name, but you could not find anything. For instance, um, I added, um, what do you have there? The waters? We didn't have the waters in the first version. Uh, you right. can see on the map, the fourth edition of the map has it, but it, now you can also find it in the family find. Yeah, so there's the, the search section on the left, the families and remedies in the middle, and the navigate section, if you click on map, it tells you uh, where it's orientated there. And mm -hmm. if you click on open PDF, then you'll get the older version. This is the new one that we need to update in the program. Yeah. And you can see here, waters have been put onto row four there. Yeah. Yeah, so it, you can work either way with it. You can work with the map and then you can decide on the base of the information that is, uh, you know, in keywords on the map, or you read the book where you have the explanation why the keywords are there and how to interpret them. Then you decide yeah. whether it's 2D or 3D. If you, if you are clear about the row, and you know, it's 2D, fourth row, you only have a few possibilities, which you see on the map. It's either circles, it's gemstones, it's waters. And then yeah. you can have a look at the family finder. Oh, what about waters? You know, I'm, I'm not very yeah. familiar with those remedies. Let's have a look. I see. So there's, there's different entry points. One is to uh, pick out the most characteristic or dynamic words from the case and enter them in the family finder. Or you can know that it's 2D and there are row four issues. And yeah. Yeah. So one of the great benefits of Anna's um, simplifying of the kingdoms is that uh, you, it's not, you know, you don't make so many mistakes by saying, oh, for sure, this person is row four in the periodic table. Actually, it draws your attention to gemstones, waters, and SAR codes. Yeah. And even the plants and animals, if you're not sure if it's, you know, 2D or 3D. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the benefit that you see. It has these issues. It has four row issues. Uh, yeah. Must be somewhere there. And if you cannot decide between 2D and 3D, not a problem. Uh, not yeah. a problem in the beginning of your case. At the end, <laughs> you should be able yeah. to decide. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Nice. So if you have, again, a look at the waters, you, you'll see uh, the characteristics of the waters, and this is all information from um, clinical cases, all of it. Eh? Yep. So it's what people told me, eh? and people who did well on the remedies they received. Yes. Yeah. And we were talking a little before um, the meeting started about how um, what you've written in your book uh, with the second and third dimension, it's not like a it's not really a new system. It's like a gateway into, yeah. you know, other systems that you already know. Like um, if it, you know, if you're looking at Dicots, then you can look at Sholten and Yakir and yeah, et cetera. Yeah. 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 I don't want to scare people with yet another <laughs> system, you know, but people go like, no, <laughs> you know, there's so many systems. I don't want another one. It's not the system next to all the other ones. It's like, yeah. Like, uh, looks at so well, I couldn't find the word, like a gateway. It's the first thing. You you make your analysis with, you know, some knowledge about the generals, the main things, the important things, before you go to the details. Right? And then if you know what you're looking for, you can use whatever system you want. If you want to use the Anschultz system for plants, fine. If you're familiar with that and it works for you, but if it doesn't, Take pick up Michal Yakir because she, maybe her system of approaching plants speaks to you more. See, then you have the freedom to choose whether whatever system or whatever way of classification works best for you. But at least you know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. mm. So I can see that like algae, lichen, and, and mosses and ferns have been put into row one. I think that's new, isn't it? That's new as well. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice and so um you need to actually know the latin name for finding the mosses <laughs> <laughs> because we're very scientific here uh, the bryophyta there they are mm -hmm. 
and these are the expressions so yeah. you can see if you're not used to the family finder yet the way the information is organized there's um the core experience is underlined the theme is in bold the context of how the patient presents themselves is in italics and the expression is in plain type so it fo follows a repertorial uh, kind of formatting which is nice because we're used to that one we're used to that and there's the hierarchy yeah? and and you see it like when it's uh, bold and underlined it means it's sensation yeah yeah, yeah. and very yeah. often context is not what your patient says but how he or she behaves or looks or or you know relates to you and that will sometimes even determine your choice uh, of yeah. the group of the family so it's important to include that yeah yes yeah there's some very good um tips from your practice in in your book about um like how animal patients especially um will uh, interact with you yeah if you wanted to say something about that yeah, the thing is, once you know, you see it everywhere. That's a classical one. But animal patients tend to um, uh, uh, not so much criticize, but give you points, like comments on how you're doing. You know, they will say uh, things like, "Oh, that's a good question," or "Are you with your silly questions?" or you ask this again i'm not going to talk about this we, let's talk about and then they will guide they will decide yeah. how the consultation will evolve what they will talk about and they will comment on you how are you doing how is your performance yeah. Yeah. and it's not necessarily critical it can also be like uh you know like a, a saying you're doing a good job but it's yeah. not their role <laughs> See? Yeah. and yeah. for them it's natural to comment on on, yeah. on your way of, of yeah or like you know. to ask a little about your life um as you know whilst you're in the consultation or something like that yeah, yeah. also and and they will they will pick and choose what they tell you they won't yeah. tell everything like with plants you're in 3d plants give you everything everything freely you can get it all you know, they engage with you, they assume that, you know, you do your best to understand them and they'll do the, their best to give you everything you need to understand. Animals, not. Mm. You know, they will first test you and then, you know, give you points and, and see if you are trustworthy. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love this sentence, who is the problem, not what? And yeah. it's so concise, it really sums up yeah. what an animal case is, is about. Yeah. yeah yeah even in a fight you see we all have fights because we're human so plants have fights elements have fights animals have fights but in a fight a plant would say like i'm so affected by his behavior so mm. the problem is me yeah? mm. and then an animal is why does he behave like this <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the problem yeah yeah and actually if you enter in the um you see animals you know, in the program and then <clears throat> you get to see all of the groups and animal remedies in the family finder by putting in animals as the family so if you go to the top of the taxonomical uh, division you'll find everything actually you can get a nice overview of what's there and there's a lot of animals there there's a lot yeah yeah so there's giraffe even <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing let's say you have a case and you think mm, this patient might need giraffe have a look yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. just type in the remedy and see if it matches eh? yes mm -hmm. absolutely uh the other thing that comes with family finder version two is a new kingdoms and families repertory so it was originally uh produced by will taylor i've just made some additions to it to bring it in line with the family finder um so here you see the, the full taxonomical structure going down to giraffidae, the mm -hmm. ruminants, the setartiodactyla, which is the which ungulates is that? Even toad. Even toad ungulates. And there's some information there because there's an eye, and then you yes. see if there's an eye, there's more information of that group as a group. Yeah, if you right click on it, you see the menu and you can search here. So it enters the word for you and just click on the magnifying glass and it searches and then you can see the themes so you can kind of go on a little merry dance through the levels of information mm -hmm. nice 
Yeah, there are different ways you can either put, put in words, you can search your family, or you can look for a remedy. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just going to go back to animals quickly. Um, so you can see all of the various families here at a glance. Some of them are yet to be populated with information, but they're all here nonetheless. And I think it was, let's go back to giraffe, actually. Um, giraffe. See, over here, you've got analogic groups as well. So it's not like a taxonomical classification, but um, if you just double click here, you go through to the repertory. So now we have a group of herbivores. So, you know, most of the, you know, prey animals, well, it's difficult to make such classifications because predatory and prey animals is very complicated, um, you know, relationship, but uh, you can use herbivores as a rubric in a case if your fits with the prey characteristics mm -hmm. of mammals. And uh, likewise in analogic groups, there's one for predators, predatory mm -hmm. animals here. So this is all new as well in, in the program. That's great. Yeah, and it's all connected. Eh? So all, everything in the yeah. family find is connected with Opus and all the novelties in Opus as well. Eh? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. The two. Are, it's a nice way to move through the program using the Family Finder as your, you know, as your map, if you mm -hmm. like. And the viruses are quite new, I think, aren't they? That's also yeah. I uh, added a lot of information on viruses. There was maybe something I can't remember in the first. Um, version but in the second version there's a lot a lot more viruses a lot more information and um as you can see dna viruses rna viruses are also uh in in you know split up in different groups and you can have information of those groups every virus that you click on you will see whether it's a dna or an rna so you don't have to know <laughs> you just click one and you see it's a double stranded right. rna virus eh? if you go down in the yeah. box down it will say yeah what it is. Yeah, so plus SS, that's single stranded. Single stranded, it? sorry. It's, yeah. it's a positive single stranded. That is, that's okay. what yeah. double stranded would be DS. Yeah. Yeah. So you have many layers of information because if you if you use the map, right, then you see virus are, viruses are placed here. Right? They are on 2D, they are low. So you have 2D information, you have row six or seven information, then you have the virus information, and then you have the RNA or DNA information mm -hmm. before you decide on the species. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So row seven of 2D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not all these keywords have to, uh, you you see in one patient, but at least the most important. Eh? Yeah, I would say you go from the general to the details, and the general generals mm -hmm. must match. The yeah. details, if they match, you know they overlap with many, many, many remedies. It lead you to all kind of kingdoms or groups. Yeah. Right. Yeah, interesting. It's actually really nice when you leave map selected in the navigate section, and you're searching for words like um just off the top of my head if i put in a word such as safety okay okay that was a good word to choose um and then <laughs> select map mm -hmm. and you just move through the different um remedies or families you see yeah. how quickly it updates and shows you orientates you where you are on the on the pdf yeah yeah, the color will tell you something. All the black ones are 2D and all the red ones are 3D. So that's also yeah. something that on the first glance you see, if it's all red all over, you know you're in 3D. <laughs> Very yeah, true. It, it's it's simple as that. <laughs> and that makes sense given the choice of word as well. Yeah. yeah. Good. And there were some other new groups like... Um, reptiles. I added a lot to reptiles. A lot of or reptiles. Amphibians. Yes. Yeah, there's lots there. Yeah. So it's reptiles and snakes are in one group, but amphibians are, I think, separate. Eh? Yeah. There we go. Some of them even have pictures. We need to add more. 
yeah, yeah. to and, the uh, yeah. program. And we you know Bufo, but you know, I prescribed Bufo on completely different oh, that's interesting. accounts than, yeah. than, than what we have in our books. It's yeah. a very one sided picture, isn't it? Absolutely. And yeah. so now, you know, before you, you know, consider a Bufo, you have to have 3D information, you have to have animal information, you have mm -hmm. to have the information of the row, eh, which would be fourth row. And then you can okay. decide whether you need uh, an amphibian or or, or a fish, eh? because that's that would that be your choice. Yes, that aspect we need to update actually. Um, and then there were there's planetary rays as well, aren't there, or celestial bodies? What did you say? Sorry. Celestial, oh, yeah, bodies. celestial bodies yeah, yeah absolutely that's also a, a new group that i added yeah and you know i have cases of all those remedies yeah so that's uh, a kind of an exciting group yeah <laughs> not much is known about it no we had we had in our class, classical or not so classical but let's say in recent years we have provings of about sol and luna are the classical ones but we have yeah. a polar star and we have some um uh, comets but, but that's about it yeah. more or less eh? yeah that's right yeah yeah or saturn light of mm. saturn is also proving i found the proving of the light of saturn mm. yeah there are a few provings out there but we just never mm. use them restricted is a very interesting experience and makes sense with the astrology of saturn as well yeah and and, and, person, and people tell you patients tell you so, mm. Mm. Yeah. interesting yeah and some some celestial bodies we can imagine because we know something about it from astrology and symbolism and all that like venus it's not yes. too surprising if you look at venus eh? <laughs> and no. mars there's venus no. there is venus eh? oh short interaction with people yeah mm -hmm. yeah and motherhood female yeah yeah and i i didn't suck this from <laughs> my thumb you know this is what patients tell me <laughs> yes <laughs> Glastonbury, love it. Yeah, lots of, lots of wizards in Glastonbury. <laughs> yeah, very good. Sent to on the newsletter. Yeah, and run through. I lost a bit of connection there. Can you still hear me, everybody? Yeah. I'll open the case. It's um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, would you like? So that's the case on the newsletter. We're going to have a look now. Yeah. Okay. No. While I'm reading. Um, so this is a. Inconspicuous. I have pain in the right side. I still has. My husband already died young. Six siblings. So much suffering. My father is almost 90, and they operated him when he was 85. But ever since he has no life, he is weak, short of breath needed to go to a nursing home. There he got a thrombosis and because of too much medication, a hemorrhage. His circulation is bad, his veins are clotted and his legs hardly get any blood supply. They threaten to be amputated. I always tried to be an emotional support for him. My mother died young while we were still home. Father had so much grief. I didn't stay in a student's room because I wanted to be around and help in the household. He insisted we'd study though. It's giving you a lot of information about someone other than herself so far. Uh, I think because I was in the habit of taking care for my father and siblings, I continued this with my children. Don't get me wrong, they are independent. My daughter is a kind and outgoing person, but her choice of men. They have three beautiful children, but since the man doesn't provide for the family, I take care for them a lot. My daughter is working full time. 
I have a strong connection with in the same way I had with my mother. My emotions are stronger than my rational mind. So you see all these worries, maybe I'm a bit uh, packed. I have another sister with a serious health issue. She has breast cancer, is depressed and anxious. I visit and support her and do as much as I can, though it might not be much. Maybe that is why I get a cold three times a year. I also have recurrent cystitis and joint pains, especially the small joints. Then the patient goes on telling in length and details about her work, how she as a nurse wasn't pleased with the way patients were treated and how she read a lot, took extra courses in psychology, children play, gestalt, and how she started her after hours practice as a child therapist. She felt people do with their children what has been done to them and wanted to help prevent that. Psychosomatic approach was more what she wanted. She also studied naturopathy. My daughter accepts my help for the children, but my son-in-law doesn't. He has a symbiotic relationship with his mother and keeps me at a distance. Me too. I have a symbiotic relationship with my daughter, but because of my education, I know how to handle it, although I still find it emotionally challenging. Even as a child, though, I was a tomboy. I found the profession of a nurse and motherhood very feminine, and I'm attracted to that. I love harmony. I won't go where there is too much noise or there are quarrels and disputes. I want it harmonious and honest. If you ask me what I like to do, so many things, gardening, reading and learning, be it natural therapy, psychology, everything that has to do with children and their well-being, homeopathy, meeting friends, and so many things. Okay? That's the case. That's the case. Well, that's a shortened version, <laughs> a very <laughs> condensed version. As I yeah. said to look before, it's a bit pre-digested because, of course, I throw out all the things that are not important. But in... In, in your case taking, it's up to the homeopath to decide what is important and what is not. That's half of the work. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, probably more than half. Yeah. And then yeah. from what is left, you, you should pick what I call the dots, like the important information. You don't have to know why it's important, but you have to know it is important. And yeah. then the family finds it will lead you to some, give you some options. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to understand it, but you have to observe it. Like mm. it's there, it's strange and peculiar. I don't know what it means, but let's see. Let's type in a few mm. words and see where the family finds it, what the family finder suggests. If you understand it, that's better. I mean, it's even better, but you don't have to. Yes. Is it a little bit like, you know, looking for that golden thread um, or like, you know, something that comes up like in different ways, like support and care? you know, a kind of part of a similar theme, aren't they, that came up in this case? Yeah, that definitely is a theme. And, you know, you can read or, or in the introduction or between the line that it, the kingdom is clear from the context. She's talking a lot, a lot. I mean, she's willing to give every information. She's talking about her emotional state, you know, that she's emotionally affected and, you know, it's more important than her rational mind. She wants harmony in the family. So this would all this would be like almost enough to determine yeah. which kingdom. She's yeah. she loves nature, she loves gardening, she loves going out, she loves a lot of things. There are many, many things that she does that she loves, yeah. that she studies. So yeah. the kingdom is in between the lines, actually already clear. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And so then the process for you and for anyone working with the, the family finder is to choose those carefully chosen words that um, relate to the theme of the case and relate to something that not everybody would say to describe what they're going through. Yeah. 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 I always think asking yourself as a homeopath by the end of the consultation, what are the conditions to be okay for this patient? Hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you have this in your mind, basically you know what you're looking for. Nice. What remedy matches the conditions to be okay that the person needs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. And the case is like revolves around family, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 He's taking care for everybody in the family. Mother, father, sister, 
the children, and, and especially for children, she's, you know, very concerned about, she, she was a nurse, so taking care is in her, in her nature. Yeah. Right? But especially for the family. Mm. Yes. So you can type in family, you can type in children and see where it leads you. Mm. Yeah. Or care, or... Because it's, it seems to be general, but as I already said, if you, if you have... A, uh, uh, an idea about plant kingdom their emotions seem to be very general very common that's why they're very often overlooked we're looking mm. for something deep you know something special yeah? mm. but in uh plant kingdom the common emotions are all they have and if they have an emotion on level three they have it on level four and level five they become the emotion that's mm -hmm. typical for plants they become the emotion mm. So you have care, family, and children, and that's as you see, it's red in the mid in the in the middle section. There's only one black one. That's a bacteria. All the rest is red. So you have mm. a suspicion mm. that you must be in three D, which confirms plant. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. nice. First solution yeah. or first outcome is a plant again. Yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah. And um, the first Second family. Bracket. Yeah. First family is here. You can see the families by the bracketed numbers showing that they have a number of remedies within them. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, powales. Yeah, and that's important first. because it's the, it's also family information. Mm. Yeah, it's all about family. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's family information of the, the, the yeah. taxonomic family as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, powales. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Okay. And this... Remedy is also from Poales. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can have a look if it has the, the Poales characteristics. So this is the, is the remedy. Eh? Yeah, and, it has the symbiotic word there as well. So if you put that in, you would have certainly found this remedy. Which you is didn't a, even, yeah, you didn't even type it in. It's so. a very unusual word. It's probably one I would have typed in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, as I said, the question you should ask, or that will be helpful to ask at the end of the consultation, what are these patients' conditions to be okay, or what is at stake? And for her, mm. is, I want harmony in the family. Mm -hmm. We didn't put in harmony, but if you would have done so, it is the keyword of the poalis. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And um, yeah, that's also interesting because it really concurs with what um, Michal says about um, column four, the harmony thing. They want, uh, it's about balancing the masculine and feminine yeah. at that point, isn't it? So that's absolutely, nice. yeah. Yeah. And if you go in uh, dicots, it's indeed the balancing. If you go in monocots, which Poalis right. is monocot, they have their mm -hmm. inner reference. Mm -hmm. And for them, Typically, harmony is important. This is the word they use over and over again. I mean, all those Poalis cases, half of them will actually use the word harmony. Like Saharim mm. album, very typical, uh, that they want a harmony. Mm, That's so the word they use. You can see the same words here, family, support, mm -hmm. family, yeah, separation, attachment. Mm. Nice. Yeah, and actually, <clears throat> even if you were working at a very low level of information, like the pathology, that's yeah. in there also, isn't it? Yeah. 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 She had chronic cystitis or very, you know, recurrent cystitis or bladder and kidney symptoms. So bladder, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you just put in bladder, you may well even find it. Yeah. Not very many remedies to look through there. Yeah, a typical bladder problem. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Simple when you know how. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. And so the remedy is? is yeah. Simple problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is that in um, the non-Latin, the common name? Uh, lemongrass? Lemongrass. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Probably not a remedy doesn't... that is prescribed very often, but it is kind of straightforward way to 
to find it. Eh? And there were poalis, you can compare the poalis in the family finder. If you come to poalis, but not the species, then you can compare it. Just click the one after the other and you will see what poalis matches best. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not in very many places. Here it is in the Mulin source and substance. Yeah, you won't, you won't find much. No, I didn't realize it had chromium in it. Yes. There we go. So should we look at your um, your other case? Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> this one was like straightforward. The other one is not so straightforward because, <laughs> well, because. <laughs> Yeah, just because that's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a 50 year old woman, no children, currently unemployed. I have serious digestive issues. <clears throat> Always a lot of noise in my belly, gas, and bloating. Because of my inner anxiety, I suffer from sleeplessness. I need to take medication. I had a period like this before, and for the same reason, anxiety, not feeling well in my skin. Because I don't sleep, I'm not active in the day. <clears throat> I'm unemployed for quite a while. Because I have little energy, I have lack of self-confidence and lack of cheerfulness. My body wants to be happy, but I hold myself back. What can I do? What am I good in? I'm dwelling all day. Everything seems blocked. My lust for life and my power, and I think this is horrible. That's crying. The world is so beautiful. Can you not draw on the screen, please? It's a bit weird. <laughs> um, for years, ups and downs, my curriculum shows periods of employment, stupid things, and periods of unemployment. My anxiety is strong. I feel everything is difficult. What did I do with my life? What have I achieved? I'm interested in yoga and massage, but I stopped it. I'm no longer going to take classes. I should be giving classes by now. I tell myself, enjoy life. You don't have to teach, but my mind is constantly scolding me. You've achieved nothing. You're financially dependent. I don't dare to take initiatives. I don't even dare to take classes now. What should I do? Work in a store as low as I can go. I rewrote my Vita yesterday and after a few hours I was exhausted. So I rest in the day and in the evening I'm not tired because I haven't done much. And then I take medication to sleep. In the day I am without life. I'm comparing myself to others. She has a house, a job, children, and I have nothing. I'm afraid to stay in that situation forever. I should apply for a job, but I'm so tired because of my bad sleep. I want my power back. I did yoga, but I don't believe in myself. I didn't dare to start my own clinic. I was muddling along. Took another course and then didn't dare to do my exams. And then I don't have a space for it and discarded the whole idea. But I have to earn something. It's because I have a very low self-image. Once I had a job and it all went wrong, they thought my work was too chaotic. On other places, I got remarks like sitting behind a desk is not your thing, or why don't you try something else? I don't want to apply for jobs under my level either. I want to keep my status up. If I have to tell somebody I work in a shop, it is as if I've failed in life. When I go shopping, I come home empty handed. When I see nice clothing, I think I won't look nice in it. This is going on for so long. The voice became a little demon sitting on my shoulder, a nasty creature I can't beat. That makes me nervous and won't let me sleep at night. I always looked up to my previous partner and also this partner. They are so intelligent. I don't know all those things. And then I criticize myself, put myself down. I should laugh more, be more cheerful. If I die, what would people say? She was a nice, enthusiastic woman with a certain heaviness. A pity she never did her own thing. I like massage, but kept doubting whether it was good enough, enough technical skills. Although people were happy, but I didn't delve deep in, enough into it. I so love to do something in the soil. It releases in a way to do things with my hands in the soil. I also love hiking. I'd love to enjoy more being myself and the people around me. Okay. Hmm. That is not so straightforward. The other one, we could like sympathize with her. We could, you know, understand her, know what was. Her, her problem or how, how she operates in life with this one. Hmm. But you have to ask yourself, what's the problem? Hmm. What is the problem? Yeah. Hmm. And then you can pick words. Otherwise, you say, what, what, why hmm. is she, what is she complaining of? And, and, and in what way? 
Yeah. What is not working? What are her conditions to be okay again? Yeah. 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 What is at stake for her? Mm-hmm. And that's always the first thing. That is something a program can't do for you. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> that is the work of the homeopath. Mm-hmm. And we have those patients and we ask ourselves, but what is the problem? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's dwelling, she's thinking, she can't sleep because there is this voice, she says the voice, and of course it's her own voice, which she calls it a nasty creature on her shoulder, who is telling her that she's no good, she didn't achieve anything, she doesn't know what to do, she's indecisive, um, uh, she has not, not a good vita, you know, she has in her uh, curriculum empty spaces, stupid things, you should do this, you should do that, you should give massage. Uh, it's it's always criticizing her, putting her down. But then she has also a lot of excuses. She says, well, I can't because I'm tired because I can't sleep. But she can't sleep because she's, you know, <laughs> dwelling all the time about her situation. And because she doesn't sleep, she has no energy. And because she has no energy, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't do anything in the day. Then she takes sleeping pills at night. And... That is what she does. And then what she wants to do, what she thinks that would be better for her is, my body wants to be happy. Mm. I should be more cheerful. I should laugh more. Uh, People Mm. should know me as an enthusiastic woman. Uh, Mm. I should enjoy more. Mm. That is, it's not like I would, I would, I should achieve something. Eh? I have a goal. I should have a goal. It's not about achievement. It's about being cheerful, being happy in my body. Hmm. And she does, you know, personify certain aspects, like um, with her body, doesn't she? Where does she do that? My body wants to be happy. My and then there's wants to be happy, but such a strange thing to say. <laughs> that's it. And then there's the creature. Yeah. Yeah. So sort of when you personify something that's a bit, you know, like what an animal would do. Yeah. Where it makes it like a living thing, you know. Like a living thing, yeah. And, and the yeah. creature won't let me rest, you know, won't, always criticize me and won't let me sleep, you know, and I can beat it. It's stronger than me. Yeah. And she compares herself all the time to other people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, um, well, I mean, I guess we have a case like this where perhaps the words aren't quite so clear. You might maybe would go to the map and see that animals are all about compare, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And pleasure, which is a similar word to enjoy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think my thing, if we go in details, if we go for the details first, before yes. we did the general analysis, we would think enjoyment, oh, I know that, that's the plant family of Lamialis, right? It's yeah, all about right. enjoyment, but that's different. Mm. See, we have to be in, in, the, in the details, oh, we have to be nice. very precise because the enjoyment of the Lamialis is sensual. Yes. It's sexual. Uh, yes. Not only sexual, yes. but it's also the enjoyment of taste, is your enjoyment of touch, the enjoyment of sexuality, intimacy. It's not her enjoyment. Yes. She has a different longing for enjoyment, almost like playing in, in the garden, in the soil, being careless, being happy, laugh more, instead of thinking, well, I should do this, I should do that, but you're not good enough, I have no self-esteem. You know, like all these things she doesn't, want to if that would be left from her lift from her she would be enjoying <laughs> see what i mean yes so uh, enjoy you can put in enjoy and see say what leads you yeah? uh, like you said with the uh, lamiaceae there yeah that would be the first one yeah because Sensual. that's sensual enjoyment is the enjoyment of the senses smell eyes taste touch and especially touch. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that's the only family that we've got there. Yeah. And again, we're seeing more red. So here we have a rubiaceae. Yeah. Jasmine. Yeah. Enjoyment. Phosphorus-like children. 
love social interaction with friends cooking. That's not yeah. quite right either. No, but you can imagine because we know the Rubieshi family. Uh, yeah. Coffee family. So we know uh, that, and then you look at the keywords and say, no, no, that's not my patient. No, yeah. let's have a look at the next one. Uh, yes, so we see critical here. Yeah, you could have typed in critical. It would yeah. have helped you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. She's self-critical. I have other patients needing this remedy who are like criticizing the homeopath but with a smile, with a big smile. Hmm. Like, as I say, they comment on how you're doing. So they criticize you and hmm. correct you, by the way. But hmm. they always do it with a big smile. Yeah. Okay. And they're blaming all the doctors and all the therapists and all, but with a big smile. It's like, <laughs> I do it in a kind and friendly way, but you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah okay and um so we're looking at the ah, oh, the our good friends the even toed ungulates there yeah so yeah. if you see those keywords and you say mm -hmm, that sounds like my patient huh yeah not everything but i want to enjoy the good life yeah huh? muddling I, on i seem to muddle on yeah yeah. yeah, the bloating and the flatulence, which is very typical for that remedy. Yeah, it sort of makes sense given the dietary habits of the yes. Yeah. yeah. All almost all of those patients have a lot of uh, you know digestive problems. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. yeah, love to be in the soil, love to be out, you know, in the mud, <laughs> doing things uh, in the mud. Yeah, but yeah. good life, enjoy good life. Mm -hmm. hmm. Quite a sanguine type of character. Mm -hmm. yeah and the, so we can check anything that has an i for information you can check in the program so right click and choose this option the fourth one down mm -hmm. and now you see the plodding plodding along yeah because you have also in this group you also have the camels yeah yeah, and you, you, you can imagine more the camels and the giraffes. Eh? The giraffes, yes, yeah. indeed. So you can click on family members. Oh, exactly. And, there you have them all. Yeah, or a good number of. And if you double click, then you can open the repertory like yeah. that. And, and you, you see La Camelis, Dramedaris. They, they, know the, they don't have it all. You know, if you would um, have like a deer, it would be less than a deer, this plodding along. Eh? Sure. Like so, Dama Dama, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so more it's more in Dama. one group than in the other. Eh? There are words that yeah. apply to some of the members of the setup theodactyla and not to all of them. So as mm. I said, the keywords don't have to apply to all of the keywords don't have to apply to one patient. Eh? No, no, They're, it's sort of broad brush strokes, isn't it? And yeah. That's for, for the whole group. Eh? Yeah. But you see, the indecisiveness is something that belongs to the whole group. Right. Hmm. And can't relax, always alert. So she can't sleep because she's always yeah. dwelling on, I should do this, I should do that. Yeah, and something that makes sense that, uh, you know, a herbivore needs to be alert all the time. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and she finds everything heavy and difficult, but actually she doesn't do anything. No. <laughs> hmm. Now the fun thing is that you know I I followed her for three four sessions a few years ago and now I see her all over Facebook. Ah. Yeah, she's teaching. She's ah, teaching. Good. She's abroad. She has her classes, and now she she does something. You know, she advertises. I just see her that in yeah you know, from this perspective. She doesn't contact me anymore, but I I can tell. <laughs> I she's enjoying her well. life now yeah yeah and yeah. she's doing something that she enjoys i think she gives massage courses in in some warm country or something <laughs> sounds good <laughs> yeah okay. very good thank you so i hope this was helpful mm -hmm. very much so very helpful for me yeah mm -hmm. oh there's someone still in the waiting room Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they must have arrived late. 
Good. There's some there's some comments in the chat here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, apologies for my uh, connection problems. Hopefully it was um, okay in the end. Yeah, it was short. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I see somebody uh, yeah, would add criticism, criticize yourself. Of course, this would all lead you. You see, if you only have one or two words, it's okay. Then you can see the other words that you were thinking about is in the box below. When you find it there, it's a confirmation. Eh? So you don't have to like the right words. Only a few will do. <laughs> yeah. A few of the many possibilities. Eh? There's a question from uh, Gabriel um, in Scotland saying with case one, nurture, family, etc. can you differentiate from mammals? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, well, that's a very good question. It's very easy. It's a plant. <laughs> is an animal. So that's why I'm always saying you, you analyze from the big to the small. If you go for themes, you will, you will be led astray because you don't know if the theme is a personality trait eh? or is it the main thing in their life? Eh? Is it, a sense, let's say, their state eh? and taking care for the family? In, in the mammals eh, has a, a specific quality. But first you have to know 3D, eh, you have to know six, row six, eh, mm -hmm. which is completely different than poalis, eh, mm. which is not a dicot because a dicot would be on row six as well, but it's a monocot, so it's much up in your map. Eh? If you see the monocots, it's here. Eh? And the mammals would be here. Eh? So you, you first determine in what area I call the map like a, a world map, or I compare it to a world map. Let's say you have two continents, eh? 2D and 3D, so you're on the right continent, that's good. But now, if you're on the 3D, you have to make sure you're in the right country, yeah, at least. So if you are in country six, that's fine. Eh? But if you need a patient from country three, you will never find it in six. So you have to do this first or try to determine first where you are on the rows. Is it up or is it down? Even if you don't know exactly, you will know it's maybe three or four or it's maybe six. Mm -hmm. But if you don't determine that before, then the theme is something that will overlap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 3D and then first row and, you know, fungi, plant, or animal. That's the first thing. And then you can go to the teams. Mm -hmm. So that's that's your differentiation because it's, the, yeah. let's say there's no animal in the case, so it can't be a mammal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't see that, those issues of hierarchy or who is no. the problem or you see no. this talking about everybody else. No. Um, giving you every possible information. No competition, no comparison, no hierarchy, mm. nothing. No danger. In the animal mm. kingdom, the basic line is kill or to be killed. Yeah. So that will be in the background. Yeah. While in plant, it's about life, it's about growing. So mm. Different issues. Mm. Yeah, they're sort of a bit more collaborative usually, aren't they, plants? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's my whole point. So that was a good question. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks for that, Gabriel. Um, in the family, so Holger asked, uh, in the family finder, it's mostly lesser known remedies or small yeah. remedies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the reason for it. Because I don't have to add it to information that's out there. I think right. my niche is to fill in the, you know, the empty spaces, the, the blanks. And as I see a lot of patients with smaller and lesser known remedies, eh? so I extract the information from them. And then I think the best I can do with it is give it back to the homeopathic community and say, listen, this is a case from this remedy. And it is not you know, the final word, it's the first word. And we have to add cases to complement the picture, but you have to start somewhere. And mm. since we of a lot of those remedies don't even have provings, you start with the case. 
Yeah, but it's much easier to uh, to get a case than conduct and write up a proving. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, it would be nice to look at some of your uh, remedies and you know choose one to do a proving on. Mm -hmm. But uh, to bring a proving to life takes probably three years on average. I'd oh say. yeah. <laughs> And, you know, I'm still working on the family finders. So there might be a remedy there that I saw one patient off and I see another patient needing the other remedy. And then there might be corrections. Yeah? Like, yeah. oh, I thought this was part of the remedy, but maybe it was part of the personality of this person. Yeah. And it will be corrected or, or information will be added. Yeah? So it's yeah. absolutely a work in progress. It's not the final word. Yeah? No, no. Mm -hmm. The update is available already, so you need yeah. to just have the latest version of um, Radar Opus, which you can get by going to radaropus.com and going to the download section. I can show you if you like. Um, so we'll just open that in a new tab here. So if you go to support and then download, so you can click on, I need to update Radar Opus. Oh, mm -hmm. You put in which version you have. So let's say any version three, which has been out quite a while. And there is version 3.1. There is now a version 3.2, which you can, um, you can either install it as a full installer, or you can, Radar Opus will actually, in the background, download it ready to go, and then you can update. So if you're using 3.1, 3.2 automatically from Radar Opus, and you know, it'll be a free update. And as long as you do that update, it will import the new database that runs in the background for Family Finder. And then you'll have all of this, all of the juicy new information Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it will also if you're using like a package four or five, which is gold or diamonds, then you will get this new kingdoms repertory, which goes alongside the family finder, mm -hmm. and which you know, which is useful also in its own right if you're just doing a normal repertorization, because now you'll have a lot more remedies in the families, more you know, well, much more up to date now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, everybody. Are there any other questions before we'll go and um, have supper or lunch or breakfast, depending on where you are, <laughs> or sleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, um, Thank you, everybody. We've made a recording and thank you, Anna, for sharing your experience. And thank you for Appreciate putting it. all that work into the Family Finder. I mean, that's really, really impressive. And um, it's ongoing. Yeah, I keep working on it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you know, thank you for keep going as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity to explain a bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're welcome. All right.